Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and since 2003, we actually have been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. So we actually started this channel so that we can help more people use their assistance more effectively. And if you like what we are doing today, do like and subscribe. Thank you. Alright, so in today's video, we'll be looking at how we can actually manage batches inside AutoCount. Batch module is actually used to manage a group of stock items that comes into your company with the same manufacturing and expiry dates. So some examples that you can find on a day-to-day -day basis will be consumable products such as vitamins, uh, canned foods, shampoos and many more. All right? So to begin, first thing you need to do is to make sure that your batch module is turned on. How you can do this, you can come here to tools, come to program control, come here to module setting and make sure that this item batch is ticked. If for example it's not ticked, you actually can contact our team and we can actually arrange and get the module set up for you. All right? Okay, once this tick, we just press OK. The next thing that you will need to do is to go to your stock item. So you come to stock here, stock item maintenance. Let's say we create a new product. So once the module is turned on, this function controlled by batch number will be shown here. If you don't have that, it will be a blank screen, all right? So let's say we create a new product called vitamins. Okay, vitamins. And then from here, we actually tick control by batch number and we said this is we are selling by bottles. Okay, we can put up a cost price and we buy at 50 ringgit and then we are selling at 100 ringgit. Okay, so once we're done, uh, of course, other information can be keen later on, but now today we just want to manage the batch number. All right, okay, so now we have created our vitamins. So let's say, for example, now uh, stock has come in to your warehouse so you can come here you can come here say purchase invoice click here okay blank template so we can select a supplier so let's say we take a malaysia ringgit one count and counters then we press plus so what happens is now we select our product just now vitamin so vitamin here and now you can see there's also another batch control here so of course, once the product has come into your warehouse, they will actually provide you a batch number. You can actually press add new to actually create a batch. So let's say example, this is um, B001-2024 to know it's 2024 one. And we can actually put the manufacturing date and expiry date. So let's say example, the expiry date is 2025 December. So you can change it here. All right. So the system also allow you to actually put what's the last sales date. So after this date, the system will actually uh, prevent you or stop you from uh, actually selling from this batch. So let's say we put a uh, one one grace period and then we press add. Okay, so let's say example, today comes in 100 bottles at 50 ringgit. And what happens if your supplier sends you two different batches? You can actually select again, you can select vitamins. And we can create another one. So now you can see your batch here, you can add a new one. B0002-2024 and then after that here maybe you can put uh, this is by the 20th of January and this one maybe put 31st December 2025 and here put 01122025 okay so add here and maybe at here got another 100 bottles okay so we make sure we key in our DO number invoice number and we save all right so that's how we actually key in the batch uh, stock coming into your uh, warehouse or your office all right so let's say for example now i want to sell this product right so i can create my invoice here come here invoice and then from here i will select a customer all right say dex remember hunt and from there i can actually select my product so say vitamin okay and the most important thing of course you need to select your batch right now i don't have a batch here i can just right click here and i can column chooser okay batch number i click and drag and put somewhere here Okay, so I can select here now. You can see I got the batch and I got the balance quantity. So let's say today I'm selling from this batch. I can say, okay, I want to sell 10 pieces. Okay, and once we're done, we press save. That's all you need to manage. All right, so how the system is going to reflect and show you what is the balance quantity. So let's go back to your stock here. Then let's come to stock item maintenance again. Let's find my vitamin. So search here, we can type vitamin. Okay, vitamins. So from here, they tell me I got 190 because I take away 10 stock. Okay, but here, don't tell me what is the balance in each batch, correct? 
So what we just need to do is just double click inside here. You can see here. Batch 1 got 90 pieces left. Batch 2 got another 100 pieces. Alright. So this is actually how you can actually manage batch control inside AutoCAL. If you like what we are doing and you have a topic you like us to cover, do leave a comment below. Thanks.